<laughs> Greetings from the Diker Heights Christmas lights and the history of the borough lands right here on 84th Street. This is the home of Lucy Spada. And this tradition started back in 1986 with some of the decorations that are still out today. It was 40 angels that Lucy put out on the front lawn to honor her mother. Newer decorations have been added and the tradition continues and it has spread down the block. Actually, it has spread through the entire neighborhood. And one of the things that you can see on a warm night is happening right now, right across the street, hot chocolate. People come out of their house and enjoy time together when most people are inside in the cold. And if we walked all the way down 84th, you'd see a plethora of lights. Some of the lights are to raise money for muscular dystrophy and some of them are just to bring people out of the house for the Christmas season. It's a quick walk down 84th Street. We got the hot chocolate and popcorn truck out. Closest subway would be the D train to 79th Street. Started my evening a little bit earlier, added dinner in Bay Ridge, then crossed over 84th Street, which led me directly to this block. Now this is not the only block with the lights, but since it all started here back in 86, I thought I'd share it from you. Now this is not the only story Prior to 1986, the Frank Setio House in Canarsie, the last stop on the L train, also in Brooklyn, has a wonderful Christmas lights display. The lights are uh, rather a Brooklyn thing. There is a Park Slope Halloween house with some pretty amazing lights. And Marine Park has some 4th of July independence from paying tax, amazing holiday lights as you can see you can walk up the block and see more and that is just some of the lights on 84th and 11th till next time from Thiker Heights Brooklyn New York